Good, uh, good morning, everybody. Um, all that business about being an astronaut is not true, but I did see the movie Gravity. Um, <clears throat> anyway, as interesting as that may be, I'm really not here to talk about um, astronaut stuff. I'm talking about commercial spaceflight. As uh, Oscar mentioned, um, I think it's a very exciting time, um, very analogous to where commercial aviation was, maybe not in the 60s, but perhaps in the 30s at the very, very beginning. And uh, my goal today is just to give you sort of a brief introduction to what the uh, industry is about in the US. Um, I left NASA about a year and a half ago, um, which you know, arguably was a pretty good job. And I came to Washington to lead the um, Commercial Space Flight Federation, which is a 501c6 um, industry trade association that basically represents the 45 or so companies um, that are members of our federation, plus those that are generally involved in the industry in terms of uh, trying to influence public policy. So let me um, just give you a couple of definitions at first. Um, the, uh, the industry is sort of self-identified. There is a uh, problem with the word commercial, which I'll talk about in a second, but it's not entirely clear to everybody what commercial means. So we sort of have, uh, within the United States, a group that is well-defined. Um, there are a lot of different kinds of companies in it. The, in the sector, if you will, is growing. Uh, but primarily, they're in companies that do either commercial human space flight, which is obviously very specific, um, or other companies that might be involved in commercial space flight that's not human, but that uh, embrace these sort of new um, innovative business ideas about ways of doing contracting, et cetera. Um, and I would like to point out that it does not include, at least for now, um, commercial satellite operations. Perhaps commercial satellite launching, uh, we're sort of getting into that piece of the uh, sector, but not operations so far. 